So, Tevin, how do you think the season's gone so far? I mean, 9-0, and is this better than you expected, as expected? Um, I think the season's going really well. I think the energy we brought into the season's been really good, and we've been, like, meshing really well, even though we have, like, a new coach, new girls coming in. But it's been kind of seamless, and I think it shows on the court, too. So the result is 9-0, and and we're just trying to keep going. Have you ever had this much fun playing basketball? No, oh, probably not. No, I <laughs> no, it's been good. So yeah, it's been really fun this year, and for it to be my last year, I just want to go out having fun and enjoy where I'm at. How does this week compare to every other week in the season, just in terms of every practice schedule and you know school schedule being a lot different? Obviously, what are the challenges of this week? I think the challenges of this week has just been like finals. Everybody's been like studying a lot, and so we've gotten. We've gotten some days off. I think we had two off days this week, which was nice. So other than that, we've come in every day and worked hard for practice weights. So I just think the challenge has been just everybody just finishing strong with the academics and then coming in here and doing what we need to do to get better for our next game and prepare. Who's the smartest book smart person on the team? Smartest book smart person? Yeah. Um, I'll give it to Inoa. She's in physics, and yeah, so she can have it. <laughs> Tabby's skill level, everybody expects Biggs to go to the one end of the court, stand with your back to the basket, catch the ball. Mm -hmm. Where does full court dribbling Tabby come into play? Oh, <laughs> full court dribbling Tabby, that's, that's always been in my game. When I was um, high school, I had to learn to dribble. My mom was taking me to Tyler Ralph and all that, so dribbling's always been in my game. So. I think this year is just having the freedom to do it, showcase a little more, you know, it's been fun. How do you prevent, I guess, your mind and stuff from wandering this time of year? You know, holidays are coming up, you're mm -hmm. not exactly in a flow of games every three or four days. Yeah. So is it difficult at all to kind of stay locked in on, on you know, the task at hand? I think as a human aspect, yeah, because we're probably thinking about Christmas being with our families, but I think when we're all together, like, so sometimes our talks are like, hey, let's uh, focus where we're at, be where our feet are. So I think when we're coming together, it's easier just to be in the moment where we are. And then once we get the job done, that's when we can go take a break and be with our families. You and Kaya have been kind of taking care of the team's rebounding numbers on average. Is, and Coach Kellogg has talked about rebounding being a point of emphasis for you guys. Is there anything that you guys are doing that teammates could learn from you or is there anything that the coaches are pointing out that they could learn from you? Um, no, I think we do have an emphasis on rebounding drills in practice. So I think every practice we do do some type of rebounding aspect, whether that be in guard post skill or offense defense skill. So I just think we're just uh, getting better every day at it. So I think that's where that comes from. How do you feel about playing a game in front of five or six thousand screaming kids at 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. <laughs> I feel I feel good about it. I did it last year, so I'm used to it now. So I think it's just exciting. And then all the kids are just cheering for whoever at this point. So they're just having a good time. So it just makes it fun. The, uh, the Puerto Rico trip, seems like you guys kind of handled adversity well, came out of there with three wins, and could be a point to look back on the season as a Point where you guys like took a step is that true and were there any memories from there that you'll remember yeah i think the puerto rico trip we did handle adversity well especially with like the foul calling and stuff and then other teams coming back fighting hard no matter what so i think that's when we looked to look towards each other and, and gave us that eye contact to where like we're gonna win this game like and then i think a favorite memory is probably us all being in the ocean in the little Puerto Rican ocean, so that was cool, and just being on the beach and having fun. Any more questions for Tabby? The left hand move, the counter move, Coach Kellogg was talking about it, so I guess you've been developing both hands, counter moves this season. Oh yeah, we gotta give a shout out to Coach Carter on that. He uh, makes sure as we know our go-to moves and counter moves every day in practice. We work on that in our post skill every day, well, 15 minutes, so it's been showing off, so. It was good. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.